Hello again. If you've done C before, uh, you must have wondered whether we can actually have formatted input and output in OCaml, and the answer is yes, we can. Basically, the regular regular functions for input and output in OCaml um, are fairly, you know, low level, and some, sometimes they can be unfriendly. They can be awkward to use. And fortunately, OCaml implements several functions. <coughs> Or several sort of variations of the usual print if function where we can format our uh, output. Now the good thing about print if is that we can use it to print out to an output channel ie to print to a file as we learned last time we learned that how we can read and write to a file using the output string and input now we can use the print if uh, function to actually output a formatted output to a file or to a stream in, in general now always remember we have the module system the in we go back to our uh, in index of modules and there's a special module called printf for printing we have one for uh, scanf for formatted input functions and for the printing we have printf formatted output functions and we go inside there you can read about it and the if if printf so if printf yes this is for the out, for output channel ie what we can do is we can um, sort of output the resulting string on the channel on the out channel yes <coughs> uh, so we have if printf and then uh, the types now for, for, for the formatting are as follows D and I for integer uh, U, N, L, uh, small case L or capital case L for integer argument to unsigned decimal X for hexadecimal and things like that O for uh, unsigned octal and, and so on and so forth S for a string maybe is very important F for a floating point and you can read through the list and see which one actually serves your needs so the if printf is um, for an output channel printf is for standard output so we just could use printf printf i'm sorry usually for standard output e printf for the standard error s printf the same as if printf but instead of printing an out to an output channel returns a string containing the result of the form of formatting the arguments uh, b printf if printf and all the other functions so what we can do now is maybe we can go to our terminal where's my terminal i need to start yeah launch a new terminal window to give more second to resize it so it fits our screen and what we can do is for example we can uh, if we want to maybe if you remember the file we used from last time the one we used uh, to read a sort of a text file line by line and things like that what we can do for example here is we can try I remember we used the regular expressions and things like that this is the rest of the file one example would be for example to write something to an uh, to an output file using the if printf so what we can do here is we can uh, have an output channel let's say out channel equals open out and the good thing about open out is that if the file doesn't exist it will create it automatically but this one here open in if the file is not there then it'll throw an exception open out let me actually open the same file now file.ml in and then I can um, try and print out something to it so I can do for example out output string test and then I can close close out close the channel which is out channel as you can see there's no need for the last semicolon by the way if you know whenever you if if inside a, a constructor for example if inside this 
for loop while true while loop while true do and done if you have only one statement one line then you don't have to have a semicolon if you have multiple then you need to obviously spread them by semicolon unless they are they contain uh, declarations but if it's only one or if it's the last one then you don't have to have a semicolon anyway let me save that uh, compile that bearing in mind that we need to tell locamel where to find the str module and its contents and then minus o will name the executable file and then file.ml ocaml c rather than ocaml i'm sorry this expression has type string but expression was expected uh, has type string okay uh, let's go to line 19 where is line 19 output oh no i'm sorry we need to output to the out channel yes what do we give it we give it the output channel and then we give it the string that we want to output yes that's true and then let's execute the file my name is Jack and now if we go back to our file it's telling me that my file has been updated if I reload then I can find oh, oh it has overwritten the, oh, the whole file completely by the way it didn't, it didn't append the text that I wanted it actually overwrit over sort of yeah it has overwritten the existing file by just this new file which contains the word test only now how can we recover that file well no problem all we need to do is uh, the good thing is uh, uh, Linux you know keeps <coughs> sort of um, uh, an archive version or backup version something like that with the full file name with the tilde in the end if you view it then you can actually see that it has the main content so let me copy and paste that here and save my file but this is what I wanted to show you we can do exactly the same thing now by using the printf rather than the output string and the printf is inside module printf with a capital P so we can say um, there printf dot printf and then we give it the output channel where is my uh, web browser and where is if printf we give it the, the output channel we give it the format and then the arguments yes so the output channel is out channel the format is percentage s because it's um, a string and then we give it the string that we want to print out but this time let's just create a new file maybe called out out.ml so we can avoid the overwriting problem and then we can close the channel as normal so notice now printf with a capital P that's the module name oh, I'm sorry this is actually f if printf yes that's it save quit this compile and run and now we can see that we have a file called no what did we call the file we named it out dot ml oh, it doesn't exist uh, open out out.ml where is that file ah oh yes actually when I when I recovered the file it didn't have the call to my fun in the end so to start executing executing so I need to compile again save and compile again and then run it and then now we should have a file called out.ml and the contents are the word test yes as you can see we're using the if print if uh, we mentioned before that if printf to um, <coughs> to uh, print out to a, a sort of an output channel we can use it to output to the standard out ie our terminal now let me just give you an example somewhere here so we semicolon here and then we can say let's say for example we have uh, an integer and a string so let i equals 8 and s equals high in if printf to standard output number equals and then with the formatting str comma string equal the formatting and then slash n with a slash n and now i need to open module printf dot save 
compile and run as you can see that's coming now to the standard output number equal 8 string equals high by the way instead of having to say printf dot printf dot what I can do is I can just go sorry if printf go there and just say open printf module and it should open automatically now save compile and run and it does exactly the same thing as you can see here yeah, and of course if we don't want to specify the standard output then we just use printf rather than if printf without having to specify the standard out and then we run the s we run the x I'm sorry um, compile and run the file and we have the same effect because printf automatically prints out to the standard output if we double check the module double check the module that's if printf where's printf yes same as if printf but output on the standard output <coughs> okay that's an, that's it for the the uh, print if maybe next time we can have a look at scan if thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time